All right, guys, what is up? It's your boy, Will, back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we'll be talking about three penny stocks that can rock it tomorrow, okay? Now, they are penny stocks, so make sure you watch your risk management. The first penny stock I'll be talking about is C-Chain International, ticker symbol S-E-A-C. We'll be going over the old levels. This level actually hit perfect, okay? It did it perfect. I even gave you guys a scenario that I wanted to see. And it did it perfect, but I wasn't watching it, so I did not enter. But hopefully you guys got in it, okay? That's the main reason I give you guys the level, so you guys can be prepared. i also give you the demonstration of what I'm looking for, and it did it so perfect, okay? So kind of knocking myself that I wasn't able to get in there, but I was very busy today, okay? So we'll be going over old levels. We'll be putting some new levels on. We'll be on a 90-day, 30-minute chart. We'll also go to the 5-minute chart so I can show you that level, how it went so perfect. And then we'll go back to the 90 day, 30 minute chart to put all new levels on. Again, we'll be talking about three penny stocks. The first one will be Cease Change, ticker simple SEAC. The next one will be Naked Brand Group, ticker symbol NAKD. And then you have to stay tuned for that third one, okay? We'll also be going over some data. We'll be checking each one to see if there's any news or anything that we need to see about. So make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe if you are new, and let's get into it. So. First one we talking about C Change International ticker symbol S E A C old levels. We had a buying level at a dollar twenty, buying level at a dollar sixty five, resistance level at two dollars. First scenario was a pullback. Okay, we wanted pullback down to a dollar twenty. Did not happen. Let's take that off. Second scenario. Let me zoom in so you guys can appreciate this. Okay. If you guys appreciate the levels I give you in the videos, let's get this video over 100 likes, okay? All I ask, smash that like button, share the video out to your friends and family so we can spread the knowledge. Because I don't see anybody on YouTube giving these levels for you guys, okay? And perfect scenarios too, okay? Buying level, make sure you listen. $1.65, see change. $1.65 buying level. What did I tell you guys? Always look at the video beforehand. I give you guys these levels beforehand. I said we're looking for pressure to pass the buying level, we're looking for a retracement back into that area, and then we're looking to enter to go to the resistance, okay? Remember this, what happened? Buying pressure blew through it. What did I tell you guys? Look for a retracement back to the buying level. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Back to that buying level, beautiful entry. 20% gain. All I have to say. Okay. Levels hit perfectly. On to the next. So, for new levels on uh, ticker symbol SEAC, let's go ahead and go over the back data for all three of them. And then I'll come back to the charts and I'll give you guys all new levels for all three. Okay. So, let's go to the data. All right. So, let's go over a little back data on all three. Won't take too long. Just going to see if there's any news on them that we need to talk about. I like going through the news with you guys. It's more, uh, it's just better. Okay, I like going it with you guys. So let me guys, let me know in the comment section if you like this, how we go over the news together on pretty much every stock now. Okay, so the first one that I'll be giving you guys levels on is Cease Change, ticker symbol S E A C, about one percent shorted, so not too much at all. And then, um, basically, the provision of multi-screen video delivery advertising solutions. It operates through the following geographical segments. North America, Europe, Middle East, Latin America, Asia Pacific, okay? The firm products and services include video platform, content management, advertising, user experience, managed maintenance, support framework, support systems, services, and professional services, right? They're trying to merge with Triller, okay? The rival of TikTok. So I think that will be a good merger, but we have to make sure we find our right entry. I don't really see any, any new news on here uh, that I haven't, that we haven't talked about anyway, but... Yeah, see, so they want you to sign up. We're not doing that. So I don't really any, see any new news any uh, anyway. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. So let's check Naked Brand Group. So 1% shorted. Okay, very low. The Apparel Swimwear. Okay, Swimwear Company. Manufactures, markets, polio company owned and licensed brands catering to broad cross sections of consumers. The company brands includes, let me know if you guys heard any of these brands or if you guys aware any of these brands. I'm very curious. Binden, Binden Man, Me, By Brendan, Davenport, Ferrom Form, Lovable, Pleasure Estate, Ferrom, Evolve, and 
and Hickory. I think I've actually heard of this one. Uh, but let me know if you guys heard any of those. And then they operate through retail, wholesale, and e-commerce. Let's see if there's any new news. Electrifying. Let's. Oh yeah, they are doing a merger, right? Last month, game changer merger between Naked Brand Group, electric vehicle EV company Central gave Naked Brand stock a short-lived pop in price. Yeah, they got a little pump off of that. Um, trading around 75 cents. Yeah, I don't see any new news, anything like that. The only thing with Naked Brand was the deal that they did with the EV company. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so no new news with Naked Brand. And then let's check the last one. For Sundell Growers, 29% shorted, so the highest shorted float right now. And you guys know Cannabis Company, okay. Uh, let's see. I don't see any new news. Let's see if there's anything. Cannabis stocks were from well last week, took a turn. I got Sundell Growers in here. Let's see if there's any new news. Uh, Cannabis stocks sold off today at their investment bank said it was a losing market share. There is a problem. I do think there's a problem with uh, the cannabis sectors. I do think there's a problem with it. Uh, don't really see anything that is worth. Cannabis legalization is sweeping over North America. Okay. 16 states plus Washington, D.C. have all legalized recreational marijuana over the last few years, and full legalization came to Canada in October 28th. Okay. Yeah, so nothing really going on in the news. So let's go ahead and go back to the charts and put new levels on. Okay, so now we're back on the charts. Okay. As you guys know, that level hit perfectly. Okay. So never miss a video. You don't want to miss a video. Okay. Make sure you get the video over 100 likes also and subscribe. Okay. Now, New levels I'm looking for for C change. Comfortably, I don't want to be buying at 170. Notice how I said comfortable. Okay, that's a pullback that I want, but will we get it? Probably not. Price is kind of high. Okay, but that's what I'm comfortable buying. What can also be a level is a dollar ninety five. Okay, and that area could be a buying level as well. That's a little closer to price, so I'm pretty sure that would probably hit. It's down a little bit after hours, close around $2.10. It's about $2.02 .02 after hours, so it is pulling back a little bit. We're looking for $1.95. If I enter at $1.95, I'll be exiting at $2.20, okay? At least half. We got to take some half off. These are high prices. Remember, the price came from like $0.70, cents, okay? So high prices, looking for a 10% gain in here. If it does not show buying pressure and it falls, looking for $1.70. If I buy at $1.70, Looking to exit at the old buying level around $1.95, and that would be about a 15% gain, okay? The only levels I'm looking for, main levels I'm looking for on Ticker Simple SEAC, okay? So make sure you save those. Next one is Naked Brand Group. We had a resistance level right here around $0.54. Cents. Hit that perfectly in pre-market, fell, kind of stalled out. We also had a buying level down here around... 43 cents, but all this is going to change. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear the levels off. New buying level, I'll give you guys a buying level first, is 49 cents. So let's put that on here. Let me see. So 49 cents is a new buying level that I'll be looking at. And for an exit, actually, yeah, I'll still be looking at 53 for resistance. Because it didn't hit it during normal hours. So I'll, I'll be kind of waiting for that to hit normal hours. But even 49 to 53 is an 8% gain. So I'll still sell half. So if I enter right around that 49 cents area, I'll still sell half at 53 cents. Because I think we're going to be seeing some selling pressure. And that will be about an 8% return. And then the rest, we could just try to move it up to about 60%. That's about a 20% gain. But just make sure you're in a Discord room. Because in there, we'll kind of manage that play. Um, after we exit about half here, make sure you sign up for the VIP signals and the original signals. They're both available, allportraysclub.com, okay? But those are the only two levels I'm looking for for Naked Brand Group. Last one, Sundell Growers, drum roll, drum roll. Ticker symbol SNDL, ticker symbol SNDL. What happened today, okay? Let's go to the five minute. We had a buying level, 59 cents. Buying pressure came. Next, what you look for, retracement. Not enough strength 
to see price go higher, then I buy. Kind of stalled out all through here, right? So kind of just traded sideways all day, just kept hitting this buying level. Hit it once, twice, three times, four, five, six, seven, eight times throughout the whole day, okay? So let's go out to the 90 day, 30 minute chart and put some new levels on here. Let's go ahead and clear all this. Okay, so new levels I'll be looking out for. I think we could take it up to about 66. So let's put that as a resistance level and also a um, exit target. And then for buying, I actually want to see some drop. So I want to see around 58 cents. So not really a drop. It's only a cent down. But uh, with a penny stock this low, every cent matters. So 50 cent, 58 cents is where I'll be looking for that buying pressure. So 58 cents to 66 is about a 13% return. I have not bought yet for the long term. I have not bought yet. I'm waiting for strength, okay? It's kind of just been trading sideways, as you can tell. Not real strength yet. So all this right now is just scalps, okay? Until I build that long term, this right now is just mainly scalps. So make sure you pay attention to that, okay? Now, those are the main two levels I'm looking for for SNDO, ticker symbol SNDO for Sunday Growers. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see right here in the video, and I'll catch you guys in that next one.